Hello you guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I will be showing you guys how I make my pig feet, you guys. So here I have pig feet that is cut open right here. And pig feet is not that expensive, obviously, as you can see. This one is cut split pig feet and this one is whole pig feet right here, um, as you guys can see. Um, they're very, very cheap, you guys. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I make it, um, how it looks when it's split and whole. Um, I love pig feet, you guys. That's like one of my favorite meals that I love to eat, that I love to make is pig feet. And once everything is defrosted, this one is almost defrosted. I just took out another one, so. You guys, excuse my son, he is so loud. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this in just a little bit, so stay tuned. So, okay, hey you guys, so I'm back now. Everything is defrosted and ready to get cleaned and cooked. So basically what I'm gonna do is soak all of this. I'm gonna take it out the pack. I'm gonna put it in this pan right here, this pot. Take it all out. I'm gonna Throw some water and vinegar in there, but first I'm just gonna empty all of this out. I'm gonna clean it in the same pot that I'm gonna cook it in, just to make things easier, and I ain't gotta make too much mess and do a whole bunch of dishes, <laughs> basically. So, there we go. So, what I'm gonna do is grab my vinegar. Grab my vinegar. So, you're definitely gonna need vinegar for this too, because you wanna, um, Clean it with vinegar. And at the same time, we are going to use it clean and cook with vinegar as well. So give me one second. So I'll be right we on. are back, you guys. I'm gonna run some cold water in here and let it sit and clean for a little bit with the vinegar in there. We're gonna get it all cleaned up. And after it's done soaking and cleaning and everything, we're gonna even rub our fingers through it. Don't get scared to get your fingers all dirty and nasty because after you know you're gonna wash your hands and everything too and sanitize everything so um yeah so let's get that water all up in there you don't need too much but you can smell the vinegar coming out the water so let it get all cleaned up and get all that bacteria stuff out of it and then we're gonna be back in a little bit and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do next because next we are going to use a knife and like clean off all the hairs that's on the pig feet but yeah we'll be back moment of truth you guys you guys are gonna need to get you some parsley some onion powder Get you a, some perfect season and complete season and it's like the same thing. And as well, if you guys like any type of spice, you can use cayenne pepper or you can use crushed red peppers, okay? And I'm gonna use a little bit of a soulful seasoning. I need to get some more, cause I'm running low. Get you some garlic powder. Just showing you guys what I use. Get you some black pepper. And get you some beef powder like the blocks, um, the cubes, but this is crushed. So, and get you some Cezanne. Um, what else do I use? I'm trying to find it here. And get you a little bit of paprika, okay? Okay, okay. So this is the stuff that we're gonna be using to season our meat, okay? And last but not least, we are going to need a green pepper, onion, and some cilantro, okay? Um, it is good if you do have um, a red bell pepper as well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use this green pepper. And if you guys have a red bell pepper as well, you can use that, but I do not have right now. I actually unfortunately forgot to get some. So this is what I'm going to be using to make my stuff. And on top of that, make sure you have some white vinegar handy. Please, please, it is a must. This one I'm gonna be using because this is the last of it and I'm sure that this is probably gonna be enough that I will need. Or if not, if I need a little more vinegar because vinegar gives it that flavory taste to it mixed with the seasonings. 
And it also make your meat very tender and juicy and sticky and gooey. And that's what you need when you're making pig feet. Over okay. here, you guys, I got this little metal thing right here that I use. I'm going to be using that. And I got six package, little packets. So it's three in a row that comes in a big pack. I'm going to be using two packs of these. So this is six total of Cezanne I'm going to be using for the amount of pig feet that I'm going to be making. So I'm just going to open that up pour it right inside of here this I'm just gonna do measurements for you guys um, I really do not do measurements as I told you guys in some other videos I do not really do measurements because I just see them with my eyes and yeah the spirit of the ancestors okay that's all <laughs> so now with this I am going to do this for you guys with paprika um, just do like a tablespoon of paprika there you go okay 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 now let's get that out the way and we are going to do black pepper so we're going to add like one two three tablespoons of black pepper black pepper is definitely a must and it definitely is one of the main things that you're going to need for making pig feet black pepper does a job so with the beef um block the beef crushed up block thing this is what i call it but yeah beef flavor you just want to just have one teaspoon you don't need too much of that because you're going to add other seasonings as well and with the uh, garlic powder Ooh, okay, you want to add a teaspoon. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Tablespoon, 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 you guys. Um, this is not coming out right. Okay, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of that. And the same as well goes with the onion powder. Two tablespoons. Two. Okay. And with the parsley, you want to do the same thing too. Two tablespoons of parsley. And with this, this is just the last anyway of my soul food seasoning. So that's like half a tablespoon right there. I normally put more, but that's okay. That's okay. That was like a half. And you want to put like a half of tablespoon of the red pepper flakes because you don't want it too, too spicy, especially if you have kids that's gonna eat it or, you know, whatever, your family that doesn't really like too much spice in their food. And with the perfect seasoning, we're just gonna add one. Oh my goodness, I'm getting this thing all over the place. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Two, two tablespoons, you guys. It's a little messy in here, but it's okay. When you cook in and you're gonna have to clean at the same time. So that's what I usually do. So all right, since our season is already prepared, already prepared, we're gonna put that to the side and save it.
guys. So now what I'm gonna do is turn on, not even a front actually, I'm gonna use the back of the stove. extra vinegar right here because I'm going to be using that to put in there as well and how much vinegar I put inside of it depends on how much meat I'm making so you guys see how much meat I got right here so basically I probably will be using at least um a half a cup of vinegar inside of my pig feet when you're making pork you know I usually put a little bit more vinegar in there because it's a better flavor it makes it glazy and glossy and gooey and chewy you know what I'm saying make it very very tender so that's what I'm gonna be doing and plus I'm making something else so I have to use the um that to soak up the meat that I'm making right now so get you some white vinegar like I said before 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 all right, y'all. And y'all see, here is the seasoning that we had over here. So what I'm going to just do is just dump that all up in there. You know what I'm saying? Just, just do a little dump, baby. Dump, dump, dump. And that's it. Cover that and let it sit for about a good 30 minutes. And we'll right, be you back. guys. Moment of truth. What you guys need to do now while the pig feet is boiling. It's smelling so good up in here. So you wanna, um, I'm gonna measure it for you guys. I don't normally measure or do any of that. So the one I already had seasoning in, I'm just gonna pour some vinegar in there. So I think that is about, um, oh my goodness, I'm over here smelling so. That should be enough vinegar right there. And that is one two cup of vinegar right there. That's one two, one two. I measure with the cup that I already has things on it my good ones right here so i measure with those with the cheap ones <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and rinse those off but yeah just make sure that your pig feet just get cooked very very good make sure it get very tender and juicy but we not done yet we're not done we're not done so just let them keep boiling put the lid back on it you know what I'm saying? And what we so now we are checking on this pig feet. Look at that color, baby. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let it fall off the bone. So now, let me get a something bigger. Something bigger to get it with. So I'm gonna lift whatever's at the bottom, the smaller ones, because the bigger ones need to be more cooked because they're not cut. So, yeah. Just make sure everything is like flipped on the side where the mostly the meat is because everything else is mostly just the bone. Just give it a little stir. Just to make sure the bottom is not sticking. Okay, so now I'm about to get ready to cut up my veggies. Usually I do this with a scissor, but it's okay. We're just gonna cut it up right now. I went ahead and cleaned it already and everything. So this is going to go on more last of the pig feet. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take like that much to pull that out. So this is going to go last, so I'm going to save that for last for when it's like almost done. Because you know, scallions, you want to taste that flavor and the crunchiness of the scallions because that's what's best. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now we're going to.
can keep the vegetables, I mean the peppers and onions at the top. Just give it a little mix and basically that's it. Cover it back up, let it sit, let it boil a little longer. Checking on it again and it is looking so freaking good. Look at that color. Like look at this freaking pig feet. Ooh, Ooh it just smells so freaking good. Mm. I love pig feet, y'all. I would have slurped this all off the bone and picked the bones out my mouth. What? Almost done. Guys, it is looking so freaking good. Ooh. Look at this pig feet, y'all. Oh, my lord. Mm, 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 mm. Like, look at that pig foot. Ooh. Pulling off the bone, pig foot. Okay. Look at that pig feet. Look at that pig feet. Look at that pig feet. 